While the Ediacaran fossils represent the first community of large organisms that we see in the fossil record, they don't represent the first evidence of life on Earth. There is a lot of microscopic evidence of life on Earth that are much older than these Ediacaran fossils. And you may be asking yourself, well, if you can't pick up a, a rock and see a fossil in it, how do you know there's a fossil in it? And the answer is that we do all sorts of things to the rocks to see if there are fossils in them. So when we have rocks called shales, we dissolve the shales in an acid that is so strong, it tears apart the rock. But it's not strong enough to tear apart organic matter. And so what's left is this black sludge. And if you put the black sludge under a microscope, if you're lucky, you can see single-celled fossils that are made of organic material that has been preserved for hundreds of millions of years. The fossil record of life before the Ediacaran fauna is actually quite diverse and abundant. And the organisms that lived in the seas before the Ediacaran fauna came along are extremely important. In fact, the whole world that you see around you today would not exist if it were not for those microscopic organisms. The most important group of these organisms are called cyanobacteria. They are single-celled bacteria that can photosynthesize. They use energy from the sun and CO2 from the oceans and the atmosphere to make sugar for energy. And in the process of photosynthesis, they release a molecule of oxygen as a byproduct. In fact, oxygen is the waste product of photosynthesis. That's the same process that plants do today, but it was invented by these single-celled bacteria that evolved in the world's oceans billions of years ago.